Hello, you beautiful people on hand. Welcome back to Let's Play Warm for the K in Crystal Tomato, where we will or where we are going on a new priority assignment. So, proving a covered base belonging to the Holy Orders is under attack by a force of chaos, space ruins, and cultists. The base is the site of a critical order experiment and must be protected at all costs. It is now your holy duty to repel or to destroy the attackers. Uh, the attackers organize the defense of Outpost Crema, starting actions. The situation on the base upon your arrival is desperate. Defensive measures are bon um, bo bordering on <laughs> incompetence. Immediate action is required. Have the guilty officers apprehended and executed. Rally the defense forces by personal example. Replace officers and reorganize the command structure. That is very, very cool. After that, we go. Um, reorganizing the command structure is not a simple is not a simple matter even under the best conditions it is questionable whether the attempt um, was worth it or just made things even worse fortunately it appears we have some time to make the necessary adjustments the situation did not de orientate further the situation is dire but the chaos forces have delayed their assault for some reason they might be waiting for more chaos marines to arrive nonetheless this gives us some time to prepare and make the necessary adjustments con concerning the weaknesses in the defenses okay um and it is so a data hunt against some corn enemies um subject auto priority task Location Outpost Lacrima. Early during the siege, cultists are wearing an outlying section of the outpost and affected our cogitator network with scrap code. We need to shut down the infected terminals locally, or thus enter the side wing and shut down all terminals. Electrospectral scanning revealed multiple entry nodes to the mnemonic network. Locate cogitator stations to gain access. May the Omnisire guide your hand. He will, he will, and I, of course, hope that the Emperor protects us a tinsy a little bit here as well. That would be, well, not very cool if we are not under the Emperor's protection, if he still breathes. Actually, whatever he's doing on the golden throne i would that is actually something um i am actually waiting for if we um, talk about the story of 40k what i of course think is absolutely amazing that games workshop at least a little bit uh, tries to bring the story forth with the um reunion with gilliman so to say but what i would like to know that in i think I don't know in which book was it the Adeptus Custodes Codex where or the Drukari Codex where I'm nearly dead where it was said that the Golden Throne is over the years more and or since the Horus Heresy more and more male um, malfunctioning that a um, dark pack with the Drukari has actually been um, done and there I would like to know what kind of dark um, you know dark alliance whatever you want to call it, or dark pact was made what the imperium paid the uh, Drakari for you know information technology whatever um if you might know Drakari can with souls i think regenerate um, or make their life longer something like that i think so that of course makes a little bit sense since the emperor is practically dead on the golden throne and rotting rotting and rotting so that would make a little bit sense i think but i would like to you know let the story go on there that i would like to know another nice thing with the last dark angel codex was the last one the one released 2017 i think there was um something that lion l johnson actually uh, already healed up again and um, waiting to return since we have how many we have at least i need to think that we have um we have mutarion as a traitor legion primark we have point of entry established harvesting data from compromised network warning hostile units inbound 
we have Magnus and we only have for now um, Gilliman so the Imperial forces might need some reinforcements and um, that would be very very cool maybe with the next edition so this computator Data is secure. Injecting purge protocols to compromise node. Locate next station. So we practically have two more in front of us. That is neat. So I don't know why we have these uh, weird, currently these weird sounds here. Um, sometimes this game, of course, is still. At certain points, a little buggy. That is too bad. Um, oh my goodness! There are a lot of enemies in front of us. I hope I can go through them without dying. Definitely, we need to resummon our enemies. Um, if there are so many enemies in front of you, especially in these tight-packed spaces, that is very, very uncool because of the corn forces many there are many um, flamethrower guys and our constructs love to clump up and then of course they are quickly being taken down very very bad indeed and something in these tight corners something you should be aware of um, the that's the weird part with the corn forces and all the flame stay the, the the and I'm now only talking about those rebel guardsmen. It's insane how much damage they do, even if they explode and good stuff like that. That is very very not so cool. So, Godforge cultists. Um, these guys are very very nasty. I can tell you. Accessing hostile network. Data siphon protocols initiated. Warning, enemy response teams nearby. Prepare for contact. We are prepared. And I on the uh, map actually see a chest here as well. That is where we need. So where are the enemies? I actually don't see them. Very good. That means less pain for that they were coming. So there, I guess they were summoned a little further away. Dynamic extraction complete. The harvested data is secure. Injecting purge protocols to compromise node. Locate next station. Will do, will do, will do. So, the Void River processed the first target I um, actually try to take down at first because, you know, these guys can be nasty. Okay, we have lost a lot of constructs there. That is a little surprising, but fair enough. Okay, oh my goodness. A nasty little guy waiting here for us. A warp mass, right? Probably we have faced them, but I've already forgotten. But they tend to be, they can be very, very ugly. The model, of course, is insanely cool. It's insanely well done. But in the end, those sorcerers are always more trouble than you think. I never know. One of them has actually the ability to to summon um, or to triple himself and these guys then of course do damage and um, they have the same HP amount and that of course is very very well not so good overall. So the last couple of any oh my goodness, three of these guys, that is not good. They of course are heavily armored and can dig through your <laughs> HP very, very quickly. Okay, to the last computator we go then. That shall be good in Indeed, this one is down. Activation Accessing hostile network. Data siphon protocols initiated. Warning, enemy response teams nearby. Prepare for contact. Oh 
Okay, they are coming, but we are actually already through with this um, cogitator. Very, very good. Then we take the enemies down, and then we take a little look at the items we have received. Objectives are met. All data sermons are now in inquisitorial custody. Praise the Omnisire. Okay, they, these are actually more enemies that I wanted to kill, but anyhow, that is it. I'm not going to die, I promise that. Okay, they're gone, quitting, and then I'll take, of course, a little look at the items we have received right here. Alright, deep breathing. With the scrap code deleted, our command structure has been stabilized. All equipment of critical importance has been also secured for the time being. The chances of a successful defense operation have increased slightly. Operation successful. It seems the main assault of the Chaos Forces is still not coming. However, smaller forces continue to probe our perimeter. Oh my goodness, what was that? Defenses, we can't rest just yet. Alright, then... We do take a quick look at the items we have received right here. It does not seem like a major upgrade whatsoever. Fair enough. Good, good, good. Nothing there. And that, guys, leaves us to the end of this episode. And you know, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please, guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and hopefully, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.